Hello people this is Servtuts and in this video we are going to learn how to install Minikube on Ubuntu 22. So Ubuntu 22 is a Linux operating system and Minikube is one of the tools used for running containers. So let's first understand what is Minikube. So if you are installing or if you are learning how to install Minikube then in that case you must be knowing about Kubernetes. So Kubernetes also known as K8s as a short form is an open source system for automating deployment, scaling and management of containerized application. So we all know that Kubernetes which has been founded by Google and it is used to deploy the containers. So those containers can be Docker container and basically the containers are our applications which are containerized and then deployed on the Kubernetes cluster. And Minikube is local Kubernetes focusing on making it easy to learn and develop for Kubernetes. So if you want to do some hands-on on Kubernetes, then you are not going to do a full-scale deployment of Kubernetes because it is costly or you will not get any Kubernetes cluster on AWS without any money. So for playing with the Kubernetes, doing the deployment for learning and for using it for smaller projects you can use minikube which is a local local kubernetes cluster in this video we will learn how to install minikube on ubuntu 22 so i am explaining you in such a way that in later after six months also or one year also if you are following this video then you will be able to install minikube so if you go here you will see minikube start and then here it is the installation so doc start has an installation and you can select your operating system whatever you are using so if you are using windows you need to select this one since we are interested in deploying minikube on ubuntu 22 which is linux and my architecture is x86 64 so this is a windows operating system but i will be installing the minikube on Ubuntu 22 which is running as a virtual machine on my system. So release type should be stable and there should be a bindy download. So if you see the first step is like you need to have curl which will download this binary file and then you can just run this command sudo install minikube linux this one. So let's copy it. So I'll go to my operating system here and this is as you can see is the operating system. I'll just paste that command and what it is going to do it is going to download that minikube linux amd64 file so based on your speed it will take time if i do ls now you can see minikube linux amd64 is present here now let's go to the second step and the second step is this one let's copy it let's go to the terminal again and it will ask me for my password i will give the password because i have used sudo here what does this do this will install minikube on my local machine then what you need to do is you need to use the minikube start command and we will do that minikube start and what this is going to do this is going to start your minikube so behind the scene it will start kubernetes it will install the docker drivers it will pull some base image which is related to minikube and that base image will run inside the kubernetes cluster so that you will be able to access it using the kubectl command line tool where you can get the pods and other stuff you can deploy do the deployment of your containers you can create your services everything whatever you want to do with a kubernetes you will be able to do it using the minikube so this is a, a hands-on thing to do on the local system this is not suggested for the production system minikube is not suggested for production system it is just for playing on your local system so that you don't have to pay any money and still you will be able to use all the feature of kubernetes this may take time based on the speed of your internet because it is going to download docker containers as you can see the installation is complete and behind the scenes minikube start command did a lot of things and it is saying that kubectl is now configured to use minikube cluster so if you have used kubernetes you must know that you can get the information about the pods you can see what pods are deployed using the command so let's do kubectl get pods what will this command do this will basically fetch all the pods which are present in your default namespace so this is one of the sample app which was created by me in some 
uh, hands on exercise which I did uh, yesterday. So this is the node sample app which is deployed and you can see the status is container creating because we have just started minikube. We can also describe the pod let's say kubectl describe pods and the pod name. So I am going to copy this pod name. So right click and then I am going to paste it hit enter and this is going to give you the details about the pod. So you can see that I am not paying any money for the Kubernetes cluster but it is available locally. If you have not used Minikube and tried to install Kubernetes which is an open source platform then it would have taken much time like more than half an hour because there are too much dependencies related to it and it, and it is very difficult to install on your local machine. So that's why if you want to use uh, Minikube for your hands-on project, for some hobby projects, etc. You can use Minikube. So this is the way how we can install the Minikube on Linux operating system. If you want to install it for other operating system also, you can use desired option and then select the binary. On my website, if you see self-touch.in, I have already created a blog post on installing Minikube on Ubuntu and I have written down all the important commands that are necessary just to install the minikube so you can follow this also i will share this link in the description for this video so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos to other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you